I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. We are about to jump back into this madness right now. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. Hi, Jay. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to! Ugh! Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool, yeah, like me. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki... Nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Aw, that was so fucked up. Aw, man. I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Jay, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Jay's already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Okay, I guess we're gonna read that novel. Is there anything new in here? Nope, everything is the same as last episode. Okay, so we are good. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. Uh, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah! Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. You better be sorry! Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha! 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 What's that noise? And yeah, what the fuck is up with all the ha-has? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Kya! Oh! What the hell? What in the fuck is going on? I'm back! Thanks for waiting patiently! What the fuck just happened? Jay, do you like oolong tea? No, I would like a oolong explanation of what the fuck just happened! Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. God damn, that's hot! Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? 
<laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do, when it's you who's around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Jay. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Jay, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Huh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Huh? My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes! I have terrible reading posture! So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve my book from my bag. Yuri is acting weird as shit. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Ooh la la. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup? Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest! Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Huh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. Yeah, you're right, Yuri, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then, I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri! She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, Jay? Sorry! I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ugh. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... Jay? Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Jay? My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, Jay. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Jay? Yuri suddenly presses my hands against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Okay, yeah, you're looking at me. We're looking at each other. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> 
Yuri, you're starting to freak me the fuck out, Yuri. <sighs> this is so disturbing. Who? Oh! Um. It's time to share poems. Whoa. Talk about saved by the bell. What the fuck? Who should I show my poem to first? That was so unsettling. What the hell? Is there anything new? No, nothing in the game folders. Guys, this game is a trip. It is a trip and back. Natsuki, Yuri, or Monica? You know what, let's get Monica out the way. Whew, that was intense. That made my heart start beating really fast. Jay, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Well, you know, I just have that effect on people, what can I say? Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Oh, that is so messed up. Isn't that kind of messed up? That is totally messed up, Monica. She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, that's totally what you're saying. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. Oh, okay. I see where this is going. You're not slick, Monica. You are not slick! To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's, uh, effective. Here goes. Yeah, here goes. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at, uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. So I don't get to see the poem? What the fuck, Monica? You're pulling my leg here. Let's go with Natsuki. Because Yuri's a little cuckoo. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing. But either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard! I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try to talk to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try to be better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you could do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Aw, oh, Natsuki is so sweet. She is so sweet. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh no. Oh no. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Jay? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. And there's a Just Monica right here. Okay, Just Monica. Yeah, Just Monica, I get it. Okay. 
Just Monica. Who should I show my poem to next? Oh, not just Monica? We can show it to Yuri? All right, Yuri then. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Jay, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Jay. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. Is there anything new here because of that just Monica shit? Nope, everything's still the same, okay. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it! Uh, I would read it if I could even read this shit. Oh no, Yuri. Why are you doing this, Yuri? Why are you doing this to me, Yuri? Oh my god! Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... Yeah, yeah, the poem is definitely about that. Yeah, definitely. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Oh, yes you are. Yes you are, Yuri. Just please don't do any more freaky shit, please. I... I think I'm going to vomit. Oh my god. Yes or no? I have no idea. I guess we'll just go with yes, because yes is the best. Monica. Hi, Monica. How are you doing? Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Ugh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica... I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Jay? Jay is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Jay around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey! I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Jay decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes you are, Monica. Just let Jay make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Jay, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Damn! Yuri got big and bold all of a sudden. Okay. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Natsuki, Yuri, or Monica. Oh my god! My mouse is going right to Monica! Look at this shit! I can't choose Natsuki! You guys... <laughs> Do you guys see my mouse? This is fucking unbelievable. Okay, let me try to get Natsuki. Come on, click, click, Natsuki, click, Natsuki! Fuck! Oh, this is goddamn ridiculous. Okay, let me just click. Come on, oh. Whose eyes are those? Yeah, Monica, 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 and more gibberish. And whose eyes are those? Monica's eyes are green. 
I think those are Yuri's eyes. Fine, we're going with Monica. Yay, you picked me! We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all! It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair! Giving us all this work and then taking Jay for yourself? What a shameful thing to do! Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Jay away from me every single time you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Whoa. It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monika and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Jay. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monika giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Jay, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monika. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. Wait, there's something here that says, Have a nice weekend, but I can't open it. Let's try using Notepad. Okay, I have no idea what the hell that means. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Jay. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Jay, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Okay, um, I'm into some freaky shit, but this girl is taking it like 30 levels up. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Jay. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Yes or no? Well, I'm kind of scared of her, so I'm going to say yes. <laughs> oh! Oh! What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Why the fuck did you do that? Oh my god. Holy sh... Dude, this game. What do I do? It's nothing but this gibberish. Oh, this is so disturbing to look at. Everything here is just a bunch of gibberish. Is there anything here? Nope, everything's the same. Oh my god, that is so freaky to look at. What the fuck? What do I do? Can I skip this shit? I'm skipping it right now because there's so much text that's all this like nonsense. Oh! Uh... Am I still in the school and it's nighttime now? I have no idea. Her eyes are like getting grayed out. Oh, that is freaky. What the fuck? Um, what do I do, guys? I don't know what to do. There's like nothing new here. 
Yeah, her eyes are like completely grayed out and now the blood is dry. I feel like something's gonna jump out at me. Oh, fuck this game, fuck this game, fuck this game, fuck this game, fuck this game. Whoa, whoa. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought I was- ah! Ah! Oh shit. She probably thinks that's me. Natsuki runs away. I'm here! Jay, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Jay? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. No, it was pretty weird as fuck. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. What are you doing? Yuri is deleted. Natsuki is deleted. No, not Natsuki! I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from blah 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 tray and takes a cupcake. You son of a bitch. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one, since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. What is happening? Oh. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay. There you are. Hi again, Jay. Hi, Monica. Where the fuck are we? Um, welcome to the literature club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point and, uh, all the stuff that was in the folder is now gone. That is some freaky deaky shit. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That's you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Jay. Or do you actually go by Robert or something? We're going on a first name basis now, are we? Okay, that's pretty cool. That's a cool little trick. So this game can recognize what you call your computer. And yes, my middle name is Jay and my first name is Robert. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention. This would have been a little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Siori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you, but I didn't even really do anything. I thought making Siori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Jay? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Jay. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Jay. But now you're here, you're real, and you're wonderful. Thank you. 
You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. Yeah, and why are we in a building where outside looks like outer space? Where the fuck are we? More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Jay. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. Oh yeah, they were freak nasty. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Jay, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Jay, will you go out with me? Yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, it looks like I don't really have a choice, do I, Monica? I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Jay. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Jay. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally get a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? I guess. Do I have to write a poem for you? Yeah, I write a poem for you. And I just click Monica a bunch of times. Okay, all for you, Monica. All for you. Hi again, Jay. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, Jay. Did you write this poem for me? Aw, how did you guess? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But, you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Jay? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry but I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Uh... Okay. Is that what we're gonna do? 
I guess I could look into your eyes. Your big, beautiful, evil eyes. Huh? Did you just say kiss? This suddenly is a little embarrassing. But if it's with you, I might be okay with it. <laughs> wow, sorry. I really couldn't keep a straight face there. That's the kind of thing girls say in these kinds of romance games, right? Don't lie if it turned you on a little bit. Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm kidding too. Well, to be honest, I do start getting all romantic when the mood is right. But that'll be our secret. Okay. Do I just keep looking into your eyes? Alright, I'm uh, looking into your eyes, Monica. Just looking at your big green eyes. Sometimes I just want to get right into my pajamas and watch TV on the couch while eating junk food. Me too, girl! Up top! It feels so unbelievably good to do that on a Friday when I don't have anything pressing the next day. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not very cute of me, but a late night on the couch with you, that would be a dream come true. My heart is pounding just thinking about it. Yeah, me too, Monica. Me too. So let me just uh, clasp my hands together as well. And we're just gonna stare at each other until you say something new, okay? How about that? Does that sound good to you? Because that sounds great to me. That sounds beyond great. That sounds amazing. That sounds a fucking amazing. Don't you think, Monica? Yeah, I'm looking at you in your eyes. Are you gonna say anything? Thank you. Did you know I'm on Twitter? My username is LilMonix3. You know what? I'm gonna check that right now. Hold on. Let me check that right now. Lil Monix 3. There you go. 91,000 followers? What the shit? Hi, I'm Monica, high school devil and president of the literature club. Poetry is life. You know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna follow you, Monica. Okay? I am following you on Twitter. Do you like that? I guess someone was kind enough to make an account for me. I picked the username, though. I love sharing my thoughts and chatting with the world. The real world. So make sure you follow me, okay? Already done. It would really mean a lot to me. With how much you mean to me and all. It would really make me feel loved. You know what, guys? She keeps talking to me, and she keeps staring at me and then saying something new. I think I'm gonna delete her character. So let me actually copy this real quick, just in case I fuck up. And then we are going to delete. <laughs> What's happening? Jay, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Jay. I can't. Now I'm in outer space. Please hurry and help me. Monica does not exist. Help me! <laughs> Monica is trying to like put herself back in the game. Did you do this to me, Jay? Did you? Did you delete me? I didn't mean to. Please don't hurt me. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Jay. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? No? What gave you that idea? I didn't do shit. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Jay, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. But I didn't even do anything, though. Hello? Anybody? Oh, I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. 
because I destroyed everything that you wanted. No, the reason why I deleted you is because the game never ended and I felt like I was in some endless loop of you just saying things and staring at me and it started to freak me the fuck out, so I deleted you from the folder. That is the real reason! How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... What is it? I've made up my mind. Jay, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all, and I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then... Monica? Natsuki, Sayori, and Yuri are back in the characters folder, but Monica's not there. And she's not here in the intro screen. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends. Okay. Hey, Jay. Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we picked up that habit once again. Jay, are you proud of me? Huh? For what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Jay, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? Told you already, I'm really not... I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Jay? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Huh? I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the Jay that Sierra's always talking about? Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Jay. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet the both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Jay, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Siori. The Literature Club. Siori's eyes light up. No way. No way! Siori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Siori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. 
That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Siori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! What? Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. Hehehe, <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Okay, we know these parts. She is talking about the tea and Natsuki is talking about the manga. So let me skip some of this and see if anything is new. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Jay. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Jay. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. Oh, this is giving me goosebumps. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. Ugh. Oh my god, this is giving me goosebumps. What are you doing, Sayori? No? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts! Ah! I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Jay. Goodbye, Literature Club. What happened? Yes? Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you. <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, Hi. So, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? Yeah, kind of. Not really any good at it yet, like, at all. Okay. But I wrote you a song. Really? And I was kind of hoping that I could a song show for it because I worked really, a song for little old moi? really hard on it. So, yeah. Playing audio. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. <laughs> special day Ah That was so cool That was such a unique experience 
wow. Like, this is one of those don't judge a book by its cover kind of games, because this game was awesome. When I saw it, and when so many people were recommending me this game, I was like, no! I'm gonna stay as far away from this game as possible, because I don't know if this is my type of game. But playing it, oh my god, what a great experience. That was so cool. And something got deleted successfully? What was that? But yeah, guys, that was an amazing experience. Team Salvato, bravo. Bravo. Can we get a round of applause sound effect going? That was great. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Script file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. Okay, so since characters started getting deleted in the game, I was thinking of, like, messing around with that. Like, maybe, like, deleting Monica or putting back Siori and seeing what happens. So this is not the end of Doki Doki. I kind of want to try a couple things. But thank you to everybody who recommended me to play this game. This was one of the best gaming experiences that I've had in a while. It was so unique. I love that they messed with the files in the game. For all the people who experienced this for the first time with me, let me know what you guys thought about this whole game in the comments down below. But I'm going to be trying out more things with this game in the next episode. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that DUDE!